Hello everyone! Welcome back to Hobby Master. Today, as you can see, I'm in my kitchen. And I'm doing a baking video. <laughs> so, the first thing, if you guys have seen my other baking videos, the first thing you need is to lay out your ingredients. You need a piece of brownie, chocolate, Marshmallow fluff, although regular fluff and your regular marshmallows will work okay, but you may have to do one step for a little bit longer. One of the steps. Sorry, my mask was stabbing me. I'll be right back with the other ingredients. So, also um, chocolate chip tools, so like chocolate bar, chocolate chip, whatever. And then some small toppings. Like I have these mini chocolate chip cookies and confetti bunny bran so you take this is for a birthday although you could do it for pretty much any night then this tool is optional it's if you want to write on it toothpicks one actually you only need one get one out of my handy dandy toothpick dispenser and huzzah sorry my mask is poking me and stabbing me. Okay. We also need one. No. Um. No. Oh, yeah. Two bowls. And a spoon. But I'm actually only going to be using one because I have a reason for that that I'll tell you. Okay. First thing I do is open our chocolate and make sure our dogs are not peeing on the floor while while we are baking this. Few chocolates might jump into your mouth. By the way, this can work. This can work with white chocolate as well. But the person I'm making this for likes dark chocolate. Or, you know, milk chocolate. It'll work as well. Pretty much any chocolate's good. I mean, you just need is it to be able to melt well and stay melted for a little bit until it's solidified before it solidifies good girl madison and obviously make sure the person you're making this for the person or people you're making this for isn't in the room because that's just a little odd because why would they see it And now, we must put this in the microwave. And the time varies, so just do how much you think the specific chocolate needs. Start at a pretty small amount, though. And then you dance while you're waiting for room. <laughs> You will need oven mitts when you're making this. I 
I'm grabbing a tiny spoon because I find it very good for mixing up small amounts of chocolate. There was definitely not enough time. And you want to feel it. Madison! Good girl! Good girl! So you want the chocolate to be liquidy. I'll show you the consistency that it's good at. And I need to grab my other ones. All these recipes, by the way, are made up by me. But if somebody else does something similar, I'm not trying to copy it. All of these have, have, are ideas from my own head. Sorry, it's tough to get the phone into a position where you can actually see what I'm doing right now, but I'll show you, don't worry. Okay, just a little bit more time. A few more chocolate chips for me. I should probably take the spoon out. Um, where should I put this? Oh yeah, I'll put it on the brownie because it's gonna have the chocolate on it eventually. Anyway. Another 15 seconds should do the trick, at least for me. <laughs> oh guys, by the way, thank you because I got yet another subscriber, so now we're up to 84 subscribers in like 6 days. I don't know where all these people are coming from, but please, if you are the reason one of the reasons that these people are coming, please keep them coming. I'm very thankful. It's all in pen. Okay, this is definitely going to be enough. It's nice and liquidy, just the way we need it. Oof. Bye. Chocolate chunks. You do not want any chunks. You want it to be nice and liquidy. Like that. Now, I'm just going to move the camera back over here. Oh my gosh. So liquidy. You want it to do that when you hold the spoon. Of course, over the bowl. Because that'd be bad if you got it like all over the table or something. So, we are going to spoon our mm, chocolate thing all over our little brownie cake. And make sure you don't get any drips on the table. If you get it on the plate, that's fine. I mean... Final presentation doesn't look that too good, but I'll talk about that later because some chocolate drips actually aren't the end of the world. So just smooth the chocolate over and keep doing this process until you have covered the entire brownie. Uh, and you don't, you can have it dripping over the edge and everything, you just don't want any no, you don't just don't want any non-chocolate spots. In fact, it looks good when it drips over the edge. That's how it's supposed to be, like all oozy and stuff. So, so yeah. 
Oh, that looks so delicious. And by the way, all the things on here can be probably can be put in the microwave and refrigerator if you use the things I used. So if you have a little extra chocolate spread, um, don't go licking the spoon or the bowl yet because we have a another life for it. So if you see how I splattered the plate, um, that is not a problem because we're going to put a little streak on the plate. Just get a spoonful of chocolate and put some nice thicker thin streaks. Just draw streaks, but not too many. Minimalist baking is getting um, popular. Don't make them look like they weren't meant to be there either. Just cover any more um, empty spots on your brownie. And I'm saying brownie for this because I'm doing a brownie, but you do not need to. So then, keep the bowl and the chocolate because this is where our handy dandy friend Fluff comes in. And you don't need to do the um, streaks on your plate. In fact, mine look a little messy. Yikes. I think I'll do it in like a little, I do it like a little triangle, which looks better. I'm going to get another spoon. Again, let me put the fluff into the bowl where the chocolate was because I'm going to do some chocolate fluff swirl. You don't want to do that we'll then get a different bowl and continue the steps just some dollops of fluff as much or as little as you want and then of course you lick the spoon after because that's kind of a sin not to unless you don't like fluff is there such thing no i've heard of people <laughs> no yeah you can lick the spoon as long as you're done using it and don't use the same spoon that you used for mixing the chocolate, because then chocolate will get all into the fluff. And trust me, it's not a pretty sight. Or a fun thing to deal with at all. Okay, I think I've got enough fluff. Now get a tiny spoonful. This is for the creation of yumminess in my mouth. Mmm. So good. Could go wash my hands. Hang on, guys. I'm back. Okay. So, before you put it in the microwave, you can mix your fluff around a little, but that's only if you put it in the same bowl as the chocolate. Otherwise, it'll just stick to your spoon and not do any mixing. Then you have to put your spoon somewhere. And we are back. We are once again headed to the microwave. Oops. So you should do less time since fluff will burn, so will marshmallows. Oops, wait. Quiet. And then, <laughs> wow, it was messed up. Put our oven mitts on. Mm, look at this, guys. So delicious. And by the way, you can make a video about making this, and you got the idea from me. Um, please give me credit because I like credit for my ideas. So yeah. Oh my gosh, this is mixing around so 
perfectly. Guys, look at this. Holy moly. This is gonna taste so good. So mix it around thoroughly if you have, oops. Okay, guys, roll up your sleeves. <laughs> um, so once it's mixed around very good, mixed in with the chocolate evenly, you kind of put it around, lace it with your spoon, lace it around the edge of the brownie. This may be a messy process. Um, I mean, you don't have to put it on the edge. I mean, no, not on the edge of the top, the side. You don't have to put it there. You can put it on the top. The, uh, like, you can stick it on the sides, but I'm doing the sides. So, like, you have to press it around there. And again, don't, when you're done, don't get rid of any extras. And anyway, eating them or throwing them away, not yet. Because they aren't quite extras, they're needed supplies. So then, you take, you need to take your desired toppings like a cookie and remember don't put the toppings all over the place because we're going to be writing on these if you aren't then good for you Actually, guys, we're going to put these little confetti bunnies on the side because I want space to. I need space to write, so we're going to stick them on the side. Oh man, guys, this looks so good! I just want to eat it right now. But it isn't even for me. So. Of course, I'm making this for a person. You can make it for anyone. And you don't have to use a brownie. I'm using a brownie because I, I can't make cakes on my own. And plus, brownies are delicious. And I'm just doing this not only so I can demonstrate, but also so you guys don't have to pause the video while you're getting your stuff um, ready. You can still watch it and not worry about me getting too far ahead. And then I'm going to put one more cookie in the top corner with the help of my yummy edible glue. Yum! And then this is where our friend the toothpick comes in. So your chocolate is still wet, hopefully, and you write whatever you want in it. Just make sure to press down so that you actually get into the cake or the brownie part. 
so that the words actually show up. And even still, they, they might not, so if you don't want to take that risk, don't. Actually, wait. Don't do it while it's still wet. You have to wait till it dries. That way, you can just stab into it. So this has to go in the fridge. To harden. <laughs> and while that is in there, this is the perfect time for me to make an announcement. Oops, I just scooped up the toothpick. <laughs> so, I'm on a kid's channel. You can't Madison. You can't turn on post notifications, even though it says there is an option, but they it never lets you. So, like, you press the notification thing, and then you try to press all or like personalize or something, but um, it just it it'll put it on for a split second, and then it'll put it back to none, but. Some people have actually told me theirs was letting them put post notifications on. So, try that. Right now. Pause the video. When I go like this, pause the video. Go down. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And hit the bell. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Did you do it? Okay, awesome. So, also, comment. Sometimes they're on videos, sometimes they're not. And sometimes they're on videos for a limited time. So if you see comments on a video, comment that. If you ask about a post notification, uh, no, not a post notification, a channel shout out. A, um, if you ask me a Q&A question, I'll still get it in my notifications, even if the comments eventually ended up turning off. So I'll give you that, and you can have your chance to get your comment pinned. And again, guys, thank you so much for the support. I don't know where I got 34 subscribers from 30 subscribers, like, out of the blue, but... Hopefully, it's because I'm become more, I'm becoming more popular, and people are starting to match what random people watch on YouTube to my channel. So yeah. Sorry, I had to drink chocolate. Makes you thirsty. Let's check and see if our stuff is ready. Okay, look at this. How cool are the swords? I don't know. Whatever. What you might call it. So, um, even if it hasn't hardened fully, just test it with your toothpick. You still may be able to write something in it. If you aren't able to, just continue to harden it. I don't actually think I'm going to be able to write something in it. So I'm going to smooth this over, and then I'm going to do a smiley face. Actually, I'm going to make a smiley face out of bunnies. But if you guys really want to write, um, on it then just wait until it completely hardens Perfect. Okay. 
So guys, that is all for today's baking video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel down below. Comment. Turn the post notifications on. And check out some other videos right here. Subscribe and check out the videos. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.